Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at thumbnails in your file manager. In this case, I'm using PC Man FM, uh, which is my preferred file manager, but this probably applies to other file managers as well. And I have it set up so that it, it will generate thumbnails and for both images and videos when I'm looking at them in the file br uh, browser. Sometimes there's issues. For example, right here I have one uh, image that doesn't have a thumbnail. And then some here, let me show you something here real quick. I'm gonna open up this one, we're gonna look at this. You can see it's upside down. So I'm gonna quickly rotate that, go to the next one, gonna rotate that. So I'm just rotating them, but they could be other types of uh, issues here. And when I go to exit out, it's gonna ask if I wanna save those changes. And yes, it saved them, but it didn't update the thumbnails. I can hit F5 to refresh here, and you can see uh, this one, I think, it rotated properly, but these ones rotate and this one's still missing. And this has to do with uh, meta information uh, and the way the thumbnails are embedded in the image. Uh, they're just not getting updated properly, so we are going to force them to update. So we're going to install program sudo apt, let's put this up here, sudo apt or aptitude or apt-get, whatever you use, install, and the name of the program is xeif Trans, so for transform, for transform, I guess, but X, uh, EXIF stands for exchangeable image file. And that's just basically when you take a photo, all that information in there um, about the photo, usually about you know what camera was taken, what lenses were using, uh, your GPS location, all that stuff. I believe is is part of the um, EXIF or the exchangeable image file format. Uh, so I already have that installed, but go ahead and install it. I'm on Debian based system, so again, I'm using apps, but use whatever package manager you use on your distribution. And once it's installed, all we have to do is use that. We're going to say it has lots of features, but we're going to use uh, EXIF tran I G and the name of the file we want to fix. So I'll just do 4.jpg here. So again, this is in the file browser. I'm in the same folder up here. I'm gonna run that command and you can see it updated the thumbnail there for that image. If you have a few like I do, we are going to just say, do it to all of them. We can do all JPEG. Do that, all my actually fixes all of them. This one still is blank, but let's just hit F5 to refresh there and it's seeing it it's just, there was no thumbnail before and now you hit F5 to refresh my browser to tell it to look there and see that there is a thumbnail. The other one's updated automatically because it already knew there were thumbnails there. But that's it. Uh, this is, there, there, you might have other thumbnail issues. If you don't have any thumbnails at all for anything, you have to set that up uh, in some cases. That's a different tutorial. But if you have it set up to get thumbnails and you're getting some and not others, this is a way to force it to basically update the thumbnail to match the image. So these are all rotated the right way and if you're not getting any, there are right there. Because I've had times where I actually edit images, and it depends on what editor you're using, but I've edited image, image images in my shell and the thumbnails didn't update. Like I made an image black and white, but it's still color in the thumbnail. This will force that to update. So quick and simple. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found it useful. And I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description as well as a link to my Patreon page. You can also find a support section on my website if you like my videos. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, and again, have a great day.